Hey, it's 6.30 p.m. in the UK and we are live on a Sunday live show. Lovely to see you all. Thanks so much. Let me get one thing out of the way right at the start. I'm not ill. I'm not ill, but I will tell you why I can't play the guitar in just a minute. Um, I also want to just quickly see who's in tonight. Bear with me. Let's go over to chat cam. Let's see if we can do this. The lovely Sandra is in. <laughs> lovely to see you as well. Uh, we've got quite a few of you in, so I'm just going to say a big hello to Sandra. I'm going to say hey to Bam Mozzie, Terry's 3Gs, Jack Collins, Aaron from the Orbus Band. We've also got The Lamb, which is awesome. CJ. Rax Effects, Richard Paul, hey from Eastbourne, uh, Hurricane Moon, great to see you as well, Phil Squarer, Ben Coombs, the Ben Coombs, actually Ben, I've got something you might be able to help me with shortly, uh, so I hope you're near a computer or a phone with a camera and some audio. I want to try something out tonight and I know that you're not afraid of being on camera so I'll come back to that in just a moment. Okay, we've also got Scott Guitars. Great to see you brother. The Game Dane we've got and welcome. We got Mikey, uh, sorry Mickey Settlemeyer. Great to see you as well. And we got Kirk Prell. Uh, did I say hello to Richard Paul? I'm not sure I did, but hello if I did. Uh, we've got James Mears. Great to see you, brother. William De Silva. Good to see you. Dave Savage as well. Rock to Blues. Uh, let me see. Who else have we? Oh, I've skipped down a load there. Let me see. Trevor Locke. Lovely to see you. The Budget Guitar Show. Strange I should see you in tonight. Lovely to see you. Tall Thing Kev, Big G, how you doing? Pete Brown, great to see you in from Chicago as well. Uh, Lars Guitars, great to see you. Did I say hello to Steve Long Music? If I didn't, let me say it now, hey. We've also got Bouncing Betty in tonight, and I wonder why we're seeing you. Awesome to see you, man. George Lackey, great to see you, Q, well, we always know we have to we have to have a quick one of these when we talk to Q. Not water, but it is alcohol-free beer sitting on top of these Scott Dicks and cabs. Okay, let's quickly finish up this. Uh, did I say hello to Pete Brown? I said hello to the Big G. I said hello to Lars Guitars. Uh, Quentin, obviously. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Right, first things first, I need to get my phone. Ben, I'm gonna send you a message, mate, because I really would like to try something. So I'm gonna message you on Facebook Messenger, because we're connected there. And I'm sending you a Google Meet link. It may work, it may be disastrous, but I would like to try it because if I decide in future to have guests on the show, then that will really do the trick. I'm hoping. Anyway, keeping my fingers crossed. We'll try it in a minute if you're up for it. Okay. Righty ho. So tonight we have got a complete show of firsts and I think you're going to really, really love it tonight. I've got a brand new band to show you who I absolutely love not just because one of them happens to be a very, very good friend of mine, but just because I really love the music as well. And I'm gonna play you their latest single. Also want to introduce you tonight to a new channel with a friend of mine that I think you'll really enjoy and like, and I think you'll like the subject matter, given that you're here. <coughs> Excuse me. And I also am going to go over the best of what I saw at the online NAM show this last past week. And it wasn't the same. And we'll have a little chat about that and why it wasn't the same 
as we go through. So that's what we've got coming up tonight. We've got a lovely collection of guitars to look at, both from the new channel I'm going to introduce you to, and also from the NAM show. So all that good stuff coming up. Excellent. Right. I would like to just quickly see, and I'm going to need to go and see if Ben has re responded to me. Are you there, Mr. Coombs? Let's hope so. <laughs> he's probably now panicking, getting dressed, because he's probably, at this time of the morning, over there in the cool, dark reaches of Canada. He's probably still in bed watching this. <laughs> and he will no doubt be going live as usual tonight at 8 p.m. Eastern time. 8 p.m., not 9 p.m. Yes, 8 p.m. EST. So, yeah, fingers crossed. Uh, James Mears says it should work. Well, well, we'll see. I'm not sure how it's going to interact through the HDMI and into the <laughs> into the uh, 8M Mini. But we'll, we'll give it a try. Uh, sounds like a boat full tonight, says Pete Brown. It is indeed. We've got a lot to get through tonight, and I think you're going to have a lot of fun. Uh, this is alcohol-free, by the way. Let me just prove that to you. There we are. No drinking on the job for me tonight. It's just to keep my whistle wetted so that I don't get too... Ah, you're waiting on the link. Well, Ben, I just sent it to you through... Facebook, brother, let me just check you've got... Oh, you said you're here. That's brilliant. Okay. Right. Well, Ben, that code is for Google Meet. So um, I'm not sure if you used it before, but if you haven't, you need to go on to um, meet, M-E-E-T, dot Google, and then that code that I've sent you needs to go in the front end. I'm just going to see if when you say I'm here, you mean that you are here waiting to be let in. No, doesn't look like you're waiting to be let in just yet. So what you need to do is just pop over to Google Meet, look it up, cheers man, and then let me know when you're there and uh, we'll, we'll give it a try. We'll at least give it a try, mate. And I'm really grateful for you um, being my little guinea pig tonight. And uh, not only that, but to you and Bam Mozzie as usual, and also Terry's 3Gs in tonight as well as a moderator. And I think James Mears is a moderator as well. Yes, he is indeed. And so is the big G. Wow, we've got a room full of moderators tonight. <laughs> um, oh, Ben has uh, Rob from Tessie Switch on tonight. Awesome stuff. Uh, hello, we jock. Good to see you. There's a few more of you uh, tipping in now. Brad Guitar Miller's in, as I just said. Brian Donnelly, great to see you, man. Really good to see you all. How is everyone, Jock's asking. Well, we're all good tonight, man. We're all very, very good. And um, as I say, got quite a full show and quite a lot to, to do. So there we are. Let's give it a go. Um, Terry, that's really kind, man. Thank you for the offer. I think trying it with one to begin with is going to be probably the best solution. But appreciate that and love to uh, have a chat with you at some stage. Um, let me just quickly see. Doesn't look to me like Ben, ben has managed that yet. It could be tricky. I probably should have sent the entire link for him, but there we are. In fact, uh, I'll have to go and see if I can do that for him in a moment. What we'll do in just a second, let me see how many we got. We have got 70 of you in watching. We have got 32 likes, and that is absolutely awesome. So um, what I'm going to do, I'm going to let you into my little secret. Why? I'm, oh, hello. I think I just heard a Ben Coombs trying to join. Let's see if I can get this to work. Now, there's the man. You can't see him yet. The big question is, Ben, can you hear me? I can hear you. You can hear me. I'm guessing from the fact that it's coming out of my speaker that they can't hear you. But that's cool because I tell you what I think we can do. Let me just be real clever about this for a moment. 
And if I go over to this camera, and I go over to this, uh, we don't seem to be able to see you there, but we can see that you are there. That is so strange. Okay. It's a start, it's a start. Oh, there, there you are, there you are. Now, I'm not sure if anybody can hear you or if I need to change my settings. And if I need to change my settings, oh, it's so good to see you, man, really is. Yeah, I, I don't see anything in the meat side, so I got YouTube playing as well, because I just see your avatar doing the old pulsing thing for some reason. Yeah, and I'm pretty sure that I need to go over to the, um, okay, the wind. So there I am on the YouTube now. Yeah, I think I need to go over to the window and sort out where I'm sending your audio to which I have no idea how to do. And of course, as soon as I go over to that, I lose you on the screen. I'm not sure if everybody lost you there or whether anybody can hear you, but. Uh, people are saying they can hear me. Uh, I'm reading the chat and Terry said he's hearing me through your speakers. There you go. So I'm guessing you're coming in through my microphone. So cheers to you, brother. Really, really kind of you to come on and, and test this out. So there is the proof that we can do some live guests. I'm just gonna have to do a little bit of working out how I get um, your audio from this onto the ATEM. But there you go, we know it works. So while you're on, man, um, I won't keep you ages because I've obviously got a lot to get through tonight, but it's lovely to have you as my first guest in this, in this way. Uh, do you want to tell a few people what, what, what you've got coming up tonight on, on your live show? Uh, tonight at 8 p.m. Eastern, which is at 1 a.m. in your bedroom, Mike. I know <laughs> you like to lurk when you're, you're not quite asleep yet. You got um, it. We have Rob Welch from Tessie Switch coming on. Wow. So that's going to be a lot of fun. Uh, another guy I spent some time with at NAM last year. He and I spent about two or three hours down in the NAM basement on the Saturday. Awesome. Awesome, man. That is so cool. Uh, well, I will definitely, as I always do, as you know, if I don't manage to stay up and, and keep my eyelids open with matchsticks, I will be watching that in the morning and I will thoroughly enjoy it, I'm sure. Awesome. Yeah, well, I, I appreciate all your support, brother. And you know, uh, I support you 100 and I don't know, 53%? Oh, mate, at least. I, I think 53.2, 153.2%. 153.2. <laughs> especially once we convert it to Fahrenheit for St. James. <laughs> you got it, brother. You got it. Oh, it's absolutely great. Thank you so much for trying this out, Ben. And um, thanks also for modding tonight as well. I know it's morning over there, and I probably got you out of bed, did I? Um, I, you know, for the folks, I am wearing pants. Uh, wearing pants. <laughs> I am wearing pants. Um, I'm showered, but I'm still drinking coffee. Awesome, man. Well, have a I real, real good morning. Moonshine is. Yeah, it's 1.44 in the afternoon. A little early for the moonshine if I got to be on the air later. <laughs> yeah, you got to take it easy, man. Definitely. Awesome stuff. Right, well, thanks very much, Ben, for trying out my little experiment. God bless you, my friend. Have a great live show tonight, and uh, I will catch up with that either when I'm half asleep or while I'm uh, when I'm up in the morning. There we are. Cheers, so brother. Other while drinking to your coffee. Yeah, <laughs> absolutely. Cheers, Ben. Cheers, brother. Oh, that's absolutely amazing. That is cool. So. We know that this can, this can work. This is really, really, really good news. And again, big thanks to Ben there for just testing this out. I'm really over the moon that that works. That is so cool. So I'm gonna iron out some of the other little difficulties with that um, and see if I can get the audio right. Now, I think Ben was saying that you could hear him, but I'm guessing through my mic, and the fact that the laptop speakers were on. Is that what you guys were hearing? 
Uh, Tyler, Tyler Newcomb asks a good question there. And by the way, if you want to ask me questions tonight, please feel free. As always, it is a free for all. I will answer any questions that I can. Just remember to put at CGS if you want me to spot it, because there's usually so many chats flying past. So um, the question is, how's the chart in D42? It's a D45 um, copy. Uh, and no, it hasn't got any worse. In fact, the only reason that's got worse and I'm going to do some work on it soon is because I managed to drop it off of a stall from about, I guess, about three or four feet straight onto the headstock. And I have bust. In fact, I think I showed you on one of the streams. I'm not sure you can see it there, but there is a, a nasty crack. You might see it better on the other side, actually. I don't know if you can see that nasty crack there. But I did manage, ouch. That reminds me what I've got to tell you. What have I got to tell you? Why can't I play the guitar? Why is it? Let me show you why I can't play the guitar. It's a silly, silly little thing. I was cutting some cheese the other evening. And where is the one worst place that as a guitar player, you could get a cut. On my index finger of my left hand, and as you can see, it is still really, really raw, and it stings like nobody's business. You probably won't see it there, it'll just look really, really silly and tiny, but it goes right the way around the side of my finger, and as you slide up the guitar neck, Oh, the strings, especially the, the high E, get right in that and cut it open again. It really does sting. <laughs> hey, Brad, good to see you, man. Real good to see you. Lovely to have you in. Um, let me, oh, that was Big G, sorry. Thanks, Big G. That, but it, has, it does sting. Uh, good thing it wasn't a real Martin. Yeah, exactly. There you go. And by the way, thank you for your link uh, earlier. I saw... And I've forgotten the name of the guy. I think it's something about the real history, uh, the true history channel. Uh, but I've watched previously as well. And he's a really, really interesting guy. So thanks for that, Brad. Really appreciate that. That is cool. Yeah, bless you. Thank you, everybody, for your kind thoughts on my poorly finger. It really flipping hurts. It, honestly, look, I, I don't, there you go. You can see how much of a chunk I've taken out of it. And the silliest thing is... I wasn't even, I didn't even cut it with the knife. I was pushing down on the edge of the knife with this finger and holding the knife in this hand, cutting through some rather cheeky cheese that wouldn't cut. And my finger slipped off the end. So I actually cut it with the blunt side of the knife. So it's gone, I would say, about three millimeters into my finger and it bled and bled and bled and bled. Um, yeah, so. It's really painful to try and play the guitar. I have been playing with just these three fingers and avoiding playing with this, but oh man, did that hurt. It really did. So let's start this evening show by showing a little bit of, in fact, let me just check I haven't missed any. Oh, I've missed loads of CGSs. I'm so sorry. Did I just see my dear friend, Mr. Steve from Boston, and it does look painful. Bless you, brother. Thank you so much for dropping in tonight. That's so cool. It was good to catch up with you on Tone King's um, channel and with Brad, actually. That was wicked. Uh, both um, Steve and I uh, were on with Brad on Tone King's live show. Was it last night? I don't know. I woke up at some silly, silly times recently, but there you go. Thank you, Mitch Heyman, as well. Bless you. Um, budget guitar show <laughs> says, uh, I can't play guitar either. Really. I have severe arthritis in my hands and they are deformed. I have taught myself to play in a way that I find comfortable, but that's okay for playing punk. Well, do you know what, man? Do you recognize this? The budget guitar show? You should because that, my friend, is your collection. 
And as I've said to so many of you recently, if you want to share stuff on the channel, this is what this community is all about. I absolutely love that. And so when my buddy Johnny, who is the Budget Guitar Show, and it's the new channel that I'm going to tell you about, I haven't put a link in the description yet because I know that everybody goes up before you come online and you all get to see all the links and stuff that I put in there. So I didn't want to spoil the surprise on that. Um, but yes, this is his guitar collection. And let me see if you can work out what band he might be into, as if that's difficult, just looking at the posters. What we got there is a Harley Benton DC Junior. Uh, that's the Johnny Thunders mod, uh, mod on that. Uh, he's then got a Fender Telly hanging up on the blue poster of the Queen. And that is a Joe Strummer tribute with Stack Seymour Humbucker in the bridge. Uh, then he's got a Glary Strat. Now this, I happen to know, is a replacement Strat for one that they sent that wasn't quite right. So good on Glary. Um, next up we've got an Epiphone 54 reissue and that's a modded Steve Jones replica. Followed by the Glary Strat modded to a humbucker single single configuration. And that is the one that he had issues with, the green one. And that's why Glary sent him that replacement completely free of charge. Amazing. Um, then finally, we've got an Epiphone Les Paul Custom, the modded Steve Jones 1974. Now this, um, the original guitar of that, that was the Steve Jones mod, was actually owned by Sylvain Sylvain, who we did the tribute, rest his soul, last couple of weeks ago. And what's more, my buddy Johnny, Johnny Edwards, who runs the Budget show, Guitar Show, he is good friends, or was good friends, with the late Sylvain Sylvain. And what's more, he also went on tour with the Sex Pistols between, let me get this right, 1996 and 2008. I'm not sure what the lineup would have been then, but there we go. So, and then finally, we've got Harley Benton TE, Humbucker and Humbucker. So, he was also, my buddy uh, Johnny Edwards, was also playing uh, Johnny Rotten in a tribute called the Sussex Pistols. <laughs> and he did that for a couple of years between 18 and 20. Now he started up this brand new channel. There's only four videos there at the moment. And I'm sure that he'll very kindly put a link in the chat and also in the comments. I will add a link to his channel after this video finishes so that you guys can go over and check him out. He's a lovely, lovely guy. He's just starting up with a brand new budget guitar show channel. So uh, he's got a couple of Harley Bentons, as you can see, a couple of Glarys, and I can't wait to see a bit more of those Epiphones as well. So really, really good luck with that, Johnny. I really hope that things go ever so well for you. And uh, as I said, thanks to you for sending in stuff to the show. If anybody else wants to do something similar, I'm always going to show the stuff on the, sh on the channel because this is what as I say, the community's all about. So there we go, hope you enjoyed that. I bet I've missed about a million the Sussex Pistols. Yeah, it was a great idea, wasn't it? Yeah, love it. Um, let me see, Glary Glitter. <laughs> Steve, you're hilarious, what are you like? What are you like? Oh man. Um, I don't think I'm missing any CGSs there. So the, one of the other things I want to do tonight, and I'm really hoping that I, I wonder if there's an Essex Pistols. <laughs> you, what do you like? Brad, you're hilarious. Love it. There we go. Thanks so much, Ben Mozzie. Um, oh, and also Ben Coombs. Look at my amazing um, moderators here. They've already, let me see if I can get hold of that. There we go. There's a link to the budget uh, guitar show. Thanks so much for that, guys. Um, he said it was the original lineup. There we go. Now, I didn't think all the original lineup were alive in, in uh, 2008, but I don't know that much about the Sex Pistols. Grumpy Mike, my brother, lovely to see you, man. Um, Dave Savage 21 says, can I send a picture of a few of my guitars now on Instagram? Of course you can, man. Absolutely. You, you send me any pictures you like. If you send me photos, 
I will feature it. Send me the photos and a bit of a story. Let me know what you're all about. And of course, I want to promote all of my friends here on the show. So yeah, anything you like, send it in to me and I will I'll play it and show it. And uh, talking of playing it and showing it, we have got an amazing band to listen to tonight. I'm just going to check how we're doing for people in and make sure we've got a nice count. Yeah, we got 88 in, 51 likes. Oh my goodness. And it looks like somebody's kindly, very kindly give me a super chat that I have missed. Where did I miss it? I've got to find that. Oh, I'm so, so sorry. It was Metalhead Hippie. Bless you, my friend. Bless you. He says, here's a fiver. Buy a Band-Aid and get some sympathy. <laughs> Just kidding, but do get a Band-Aid. Peace. Happy no nam. Man, thank you so much. As always, uh, all, never courted, but always appreciated. And let me give you one of those, brother, because that is really, really kind. It will definitely go into the beer fund tonight, uh, rather than the Band-Aid fund. Mmm. <laughs> Okie koki, thank you so much. Um, oh, I'll touch something next. You can, he's on it tonight. He's on a roll, the guitologist. What does he like? Hey, <laughs> uh, okay, so I'm really hoping. Um, oh, wow, that's a really good point. Tony Smith makes the point that um, Tony Iommi has got no fingertips on his right hand and he's a left hander, so you've got to take his. Um, Take your hat off to him for carrying on playing. Yeah, absolutely. absolutely, blinking lootly Budget guitar show, that's amazing. There you go. See, you've already got some big followers now. How about that, Johnny? Awesome, man. Awesome. Right. Now, the second thing, let's get to it because there's a few of you in watching and I really want to expose these guys because they are brilliant. It's a brand new band that most of you, and I'm thinking pretty much all of you, may not have heard of. And they're called Bouncing Betty. And it's a cool name for a band. They're a German outfit and actually I met one of the guitarists and became really, really, really good friends with him. And that's Tonio while I was over at 42 Gear Street with Henning. He was one of the great guys, the tech guys behind the scenes helping out. And um, he has an amazing band. Now, again, if you guys can manage to find me a link, that will be absolutely awesome. Um, if you can find a link for Bouncing Betty on YouTube. But what we're going to do tonight is they had a new single called Puzzle Piece of Pain that went out on Thursday. And I think I was the only one that was there live. So what I really want to do tonight is I want to share with you. They've given me the kind permission to share this. And I'm going to pop over to here and we're going to have a little look. Oh yeah, that's true, Graham Oliver also lost his fingertips. Good point, thanks for that, Brad. Yeah, so this coming up is the amazing latest single from my buddy Tonio's band, Bouncing Betty, and it is called Puzzle Piece of Pain. Let's go and have a look.
There we go. Wow. And I hope, like me, you absolutely love that band. They've got some real cool stuff. And um, that is just one really, really good example. Check out the channel. And thanks so much. I've got loads of you. Uh, I think about five of you have already put in the link to Bouncing Betty. Thanks so much for that. Again, I will add it after the show into the description so that it doesn't spoil the surprise for tonight. Um, but yeah, I absolutely love them. And all their tracks, I really like that. I see people talking about Velvet Revolver there. I also see that you understand what a Bouncing Betty was. Yeah, it's absolutely, it used to be a landmine. And when you trod on it, it sprung up and and exploded midair. Nasty, nasty, but um, quite an interesting name for a band. I thought it was a good name for a band, but there you go. So hopefully you all enjoyed that. Um, and while I was on doing that, bless you, Budget Guitar Show. Thank you so much for that, brother. You get one of these. Uh, and as I always say, um, never courted, but always appreciated when you very kindly um, treat me like that in the tip jar thank you so much um, and I certainly will have a beer on you my friend definitely um, there you go uh, CGS can you make a shout out for me I changed my YouTube channel from Carson Olsen learning guitar oh wow that's you okay to the to the game Dane Hey man, great to see you back in. See, I didn't even recognize you. But yeah, there you go, everybody. You probably remember Carlson Olsen learning lead guitar. Well, he's now the game Dane. Loving it, loving it. Uh, really glad that you enjoyed that, Ben. Thank you. Uh, sorry, guitologist Brad, I should say. Um, I think that looks like that's a link to uh, Spotify for those guys. Loads of people really, really liking the tune. That is so awesome. There you go. They've also got an Instagram, uh, Facebook. Wow, you guys, you so rock. 
What can I say? What can I say? Um, Tony Smith says, uh, it's great bands can find their own videos, uh, film their own videos cheaply and put them on YouTube and get a huge audience. Something you could only have dreamed about even 10 years ago. Absolutely. And it's great. And what a good job they did. I did. You did make me smile, Brad, when you said they need to get themselves a tripod. I know you were kidding. That was hilarious though. What are you like? Um, so yeah, absolutely brilliant. They're a great band and I thoroughly, thoroughly recommend you check them out. Uh, Terry Tickler thinks it's a great tune. Awesome. Okay, I don't think I have got any other questions there. So this seems like a really, really good time for me. Uh, there we go. Great song, definitely gonna check it out. Oh, I'm not showing you the right camera. I'm so sorry. I'm looking one way. <laughs> what am I like? Yeah, that, that Schecter is really, really nice. Now, talking about nice guitars, I need to go over to here and let's have a quick look. Now, in the, in the description down below, you probably remember from last week that I told you all that it was the online NAMM show this year. Now, I know that a lot of people have felt that it's a bit of a damp squib and it wasn't the same. It really wasn't not being able to interact. I think for spe specifically for us YouTubers, it is definitely all about the hang. And I really, really miss that. And I miss seeing all of my buddies, a lot of you in tonight watching. But I also think that it was still a good opportunity to have a look at some new stuff coming out. I was really um, shocked actually to see that Fender weren't there, but actually Fender have released some really nice stuff. Uh, I'm gonna show you some of the nicest new looking guitars that I've seen coming out recently. And I'm gonna start with these, the Ibanez AZ. I love that teletype um, style. Um, so, oh, hello, Grumpy Mike, bless you. Sorry, I need to go back to this to say a big thank you to Grumpy Mike. Bouncing Betty may or not have also been a girl I used to date. <laughs> I love it. I, I bet she was. <laughs> And is that why you're grumpy now when she left? Oh man, oh bless you. No, thanks so much, thanks so much for the giggle. Here's one of those. Thanks for the giggle and also for the tip jar, brother. Thank you very much, really very much appreciate that. Oh, that's hilarious, absolutely hilarious. So yeah, going back to these, I absolutely love the look of these. Now it's a really different looking Telecaster type um, guitar and I really like the color finishes and particularly like the fact that they've got the uh, humbucker or it's almost like a mini humbucker in the bridge position and the single coil in sorry in the neck and a single coil in the bridge and with a tremolo on a couple of them what is that all about on a telly style guitar, but good on Ibanez for that. Really, really good. Oh my goodness. Doug Santanillo, thank you so much. A little more for your maker's mark. Thanks for the video. Well, bless you, my friend. And thank you so much for your kind tip jar donation. Have one of those, brother. And a big, big thank you to that. And Terry's thanking you. And Big G's thanking you. Everyone's thanking you. What a lovely little community we have here. We really, really do. So thank you, guys. Um, yeah, that was one guitar that I really like that's just been released. I've got a couple of others to show you. Now, let's quickly have a look. Gretsch have come out with this little line of cheaper Gretsch Juniors. And again, I think these look really, really nice. I don't know what you guys think. I particularly like the TV Jones style with the Bigsby in the middle. I really think that that sort of, that green sort of color is really, really nice. Let me know what you guys think, of course. Um, there's also a new range of Squire just come out. And these are the Squire contemporaries. I don't know what you think about this, but I think they look rather pleasing. I actually really like the two single coils 
being close together and I'm guessing that they're acting as a humbucker. If you look at the um, red burst and the green burst in the middle, that's really, really quite interesting. But my absolute favorite new release guitar that I've just, and I'm honestly, this is the last set of guitars that I'm gonna show. I'm not gonna go into this in great depth because you guys can all follow the links down below. And what I've done is I've made up a big crib sheet for you guys in the description of this video of lots of different NAMM videos that I went and watched or that I think you might be interested in. So I hope that helps out. I hope it gives you something that you wanna go and have a look at. And I hope there's something in there for everybody. You know, that goes from metal guitars to real sort of uh, classical and even there's a link there to a, a new PRS factory tour. There's some PRS SEs. I've done breed love guitars. I've done all sorts in the description of this video. So really hope you go over and enjoy that. But I just want to look at these lastly, which I absolutely love. Now these are Squire Novetta. And I love the fact that these are so basic, so simple, particularly I love that offset and I really like the telly as well with just that single, single P90. These are all P90 guitars. Let's have a quick look at them individually. Doesn't that look stunning, that offset? Um, it says Fender on the headstock and I thought they were Squire, but there we are. This is definitely my favorite, the P90. Um, the no, no Veta range. And then there's also, just lastly, there is a Strat version with two P90s as well. And I think collectively, that is probably my favorite of the new releases out this year. But let me know what you think. As always, I'll uh, look forward to seeing your comments. We are, goodness me, we're 12 minutes past. And uh, I felt like we weren't even at the hour yet, but there we go. Uh, really, really great show. Really enjoying seeing your comments. Let's dip over and have a final little look at chat cam. Thanks again for that, Doug. Um, and see if I've missed any, any questions from you guys. Uh, let me see. Uh, oh, I've got quite a few there. Here we are, Grumpy Mike. Have you ever seen a double cut telly? Didn't even know they existed till a couple of days ago. Really weird looking. No, I've never seen a double cut telly. <laughs> uh, but there you go. Um, I'd be interested, send me a picture. I'll feature it. Cheers, man. Uh, Tony Smith says, Mike, are the Gretches made in China? I'm assuming the Squires are. I'm assuming they will be made in the Far East. They could be. Um, Korean, Indonesian, or even Vietnamese, but most likely in China. I haven't checked that out, I'll be perfectly honest. I just picked a few of the guitars that I really like the look at, uh, look of. CJ, he says, the, those squires remind me of the lead series. Yep, there you go. James Mears likes the look of them. Awesome, awesome. Uh, I'm just trying to shoot down to any other CGS, as I can see, Budget Guitar Show, likes the Jazz Master. Yeah, I really like that offset look. That really did work with the P90s. We Jock says, got to show you that 59 replica I got from my Brighton Builder. Yes, mate, you have. Send me some pictures and remind me the story. Let's feature it on a live show. That would be really cool. I'm sure everybody else would love that as well. Okay, CJ, what do you think of the new uh, JM PRS? If the price, or, uh, based on color and hype, are that they're actually that good. I refer to the Nebula color. Yeah, I saw um, those. I think there's so much PRS are bringing out at the moment, you know, even going to their core range, but the SE stuff that's coming out, I, I, I need to do a whole video on what PRS have got coming out this year because they're really, really knocking it out of the park. And uh, yeah, I know the ones you mean, and the, the lack of scratch plate on them really works for me. I really like that. Um, so yeah, cool. Uh, let me just dive down. Okay, Brad, no worries, you gotta go. No worries, man, thanks for dro dropping in tonight. Lovely to see you as always. Uh, Tony Smith says, it's amazing the range of guitars that are available these days. You're getting gas? Yeah, me too, and not just from the beer. Um, 
Okay, uh, I have a stream over on the Guitar Doctor where you're a guest. Awesome. Yes, we'll come over and check that out, man. We will definitely all come over and have a little look. Um, yeah, we used to be Will's Easy Guitar. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, could get rather wild that. Uh, I'm... I'm well aware of both channels. Love it. Uh, Terry's 3Gs. Oh, thank you, Brad. That's really cool. And I'll see you over on, on um, Will's channel shortly. Uh, Terry says, um, the CGS at Grumpy Mike Guitar, the double cut Telecaster was launched by Fender as a limited run, I believe. Right. Two to three years ago. Been floating around my area for a while. Yeah, Great Vanzini confirms China and Indo for the Gretsch lower end, some 5000 series. Thanks for that, Great Vanzini. Good man. Brad Guitar Miller says, I want to try the Zach Meyer Semi Hollow SE. Yeah, that looks really, really nice. And little John says, Great show. Bless you, brother. Really, really glad you've enjoyed it. Well, that's pretty much what I have for you tonight. I really hope that you enjoyed the show. I hope that you'll go and check out the Budget Guitar Show because Johnny's a lovely, lovely guy. I equally hope that you'll go and subscribe to that channel and also to Bouncing Betty, the band that my buddy and good friend, brother, Tonio is in and um, check out more of their tracks as well as Puzzle Piece of Pain. That's a tongue twister at this time of night. Um, yeah, and I really hope you like my roundup of the NAM show. As I said, it wasn't the same being offline, but I still managed to find loads of links in the description for you down below, just so that you can go and have a look at some of the stuff that I looked at if you didn't manage to get registered and look at your own stuff for NAM show. So as always, I will be back next Sunday, somebody willing. And uh, I'm hoping that this will clear, clear up pretty soon because I've got an unboxing. I've got a guitar just over there, another one to unbox. And that's coming up really, really soon. Not quite, again, not quite what we expected, but I'll explain that in that video. So really hope you've enjoyed it. As always, my friends, you guys this week, take good care. <laughs>